Hi, Ruby. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you today? I'm very fine today. You're very fine today. Okay, let us start the lesson. How are you? Bad news. Oh, <laughs> where are you right now? You're in the house? Yes, and I have a bad news. What bad news? Why? Uh, just a uh, uh, just a second before there were people who would die. They oh, were sick. what? Why? In Vietnam? I think I think of the coronavirus, or maybe they be old. Ah, because of the coronavirus. Yes, or maybe today. Yeah, How many maybe... in your place? No. They all live in my place, but I think it's far, far more than. Oh, they live in your place. Oh my God, Ruby. So that's so sad. Also in the Philippines, Ruby, actually many people die. So many in the Philippines. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, now Ruby, let us have here. Okay, let us have the listening test. I will share it to you. Okay, good morning. Okay, now Ruby, please listen this one. Okay. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One, what is the weather forecast for tomorrow? And now for the weather. As we go through today, the temperature will slowly rise, and the snow we've had for the last few days will disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some rain, but by the end of the week, some sunny weather is likely. Now listen again. And now for the weather. As we go through today, the temperature will slowly rise, and the snow we've had for the last few days will disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some rain, but by the end of the week, some sunny weather is likely. Two. 
What will they buy at the supermarket? Look, Kate, there are some of those biscuits you like. Oh, yes. Mm. They're a bit expensive, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, we've got guests coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake and I've bought lots of ice cream for the children. Well, I suppose the biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Let's see. Oh, good. I've got enough money in my purse. Now listen again. Look, Kate, there are some of those biscuits you like. Oh, yes. Mm. They're a bit expensive, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, we've got guests coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake and I've bought lots of ice cream for the children. Well, I suppose the biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Let's see. Oh, good. I've got enough money in my purse. Three. Which T-shirt does the woman buy? I'd like to buy a white T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the white ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the darker colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? It must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, OK, I'll take one of the short-sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Now listen again. I'd like to buy a white T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the white ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the darker colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? It must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, OK, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Four. What will the girl take with her on holiday? Have you packed for your holiday? No. I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken. So I need something that's better quality this time. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a big sports bag. It's light and not expensive. Okay, Ruby, you have the answer or one more? What do you think? I cannot hear. You cannot hear? Why? Wait for Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I can hear number one, number two, number three. Ah, number one and number three, you cannot hear. One and three only. I just, I just, I just uh, hear the number one, number two, number three. I cannot hear the other one. Ah, okay, okay. So I will repeat. Okay, please listen. Expensive. So it doesn't matter if it gets torn. Yes. I'll... For tomorrow. And now for the weather. As we go through today, the temperature will slowly rise and the snow we've had for the last few days will disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some rain. But by the end of the week, some sunny weather is likely. Now listen again. And now for the weather. As we go through today, the temperature will slowly rise and the snow we've had for the last few days will disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some rain. But by the end of the week, some sunny weather is likely. Two. What will they buy at the supermarket? Look, Kate, there are some of those biscuits you like. Oh, yes. Mm. They're a bit expensive, though, Mum. 
Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, we've got guests coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake, and I've bought lots of ice cream for the children. Well, I suppose the biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Let's see. Oh, good. I've got enough money in my purse. Now listen again. Look, Kate. There are some of those biscuits you like. Oh yes. Hmm. They're a bit expensive, though, Mum. Why don't we have this cake instead? Remember, we've got guests coming tomorrow. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I've already made a cake, and I've bought lots of ice cream for the children. Well, I suppose the biscuits would be nice with ice cream. Let's see. Oh, good. I've got enough money in my purse. Three. Which T-shirt does the woman buy? I'd like to buy a white T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the white ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the darker colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? It must be round neck.、Uh, let me think.、Um, okay, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Now listen again. I'd like to buy a white T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the white ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the darker colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? It must be round neck.、Uh, let me think.、Um, okay, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Four. What will the girl take with her on holiday? Have you packed for your holiday? No, I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken, so I need something that's better quality this time. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a big sports bag. It's light and not expensive, so it doesn't matter if it gets torn. Yes, I thought about one of those, but you need something stronger when it's going on a plane. I'll get something I can put on my back. You can carry more that way. Now listen again. Have you packed for your holiday? No, I need to go shopping before I can do that. Last holiday, my suitcase handle got broken. So I need something that's better quality this time. But suitcases are so heavy to carry. I always take a big sports bag. It's light and not expensive, so it doesn't matter if it gets torn. Yes, I thought about one of those, but you need something stronger when it's going on a plane. I'll get something I can put on my back. You can carry more that way. Five. Which exercise is the teacher describing? Okay, everybody. This next exercise is a bit difficult, but it's really good for your legs. All you do is put your back against the wall, place your feet about half a meter away from the wall, move your back down the wall so your knees are bent at ninety degrees. Now. Put your hands out straight in front of you. Right. Make sure your head is against the wall. Now see how long you can stay like that. If you do two minutes, you're doing well. Now listen again. Okay, everybody. This next exercise is a bit difficult, but it's really good for your legs. All you do is put your back against the wall, place your feet about half a meter away from the wall, move your back down the wall so your knees are bent at ninety degrees. Now, put your hands out straight in front of you. Right, 
make sure your head is against the wall. Now, see how long you can stay like that. If you do two minutes, you're doing well. Six. What time will the train to London leave? The train arriving at platform six is the 4.45 from London. The train due to arrive at platform four in approximately five minutes is the delayed 4.30 train to London. This train will now depart at 4.50 and travel non-stop. We apologise to passengers for the delay. Refreshments will not be available on this train. Now listen again. The train arriving at platform 6 is the 4.45 from London. The train due to arrive at platform 4 in approximately 5 minutes is the delayed 4.30 train to London. This train will now depart at 4.50 and travel non-stop. We apologise to passengers for the delay. Refreshments will not be available on this train. Seven. Which sport will the boy do soon at the centre? Have you been to the new water sports centre yet? Oh yes, it's brilliant. There are two indoor pools, one for diving and one for swimming. And you can also have sailing lessons on the lake. That's what I'm doing there next weekend, actually. I, I was hoping to take windsurfing lessons, but the leaflet says they're not starting those until next year. Now listen again. Have you been to the new water sports centre yet? Oh yes, it's brilliant. There are two indoor pools, one for diving and one for swimming. And you can also have sailing lessons on the lake. That's what I'm doing there next weekend, actually. I, I was hoping to take windsurfing lessons, but the leaflet says they're not starting those until next year. That is the end of part one. Okay, Ruby, do you have your answer? Yes. Okay, number one. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? A, B, or C? The C. Okay. One, C. Number two. Very good. What will we buy at the supermarket? Is that letter A? Yes. Yeah, three. Which t-shirt does the woman buy? Number three, B. Oh, it's the letter A. It's color black. It's dark color. Next. What will the girl take with her on Friday, on the holiday? It's letter B, the answer. Are you correct, Ruby? It's the rucksack. Is that your answer, rucksack? Okay, four. Your answer is rucksack? Yes. B. Which exercise is the teacher describing? I think that's in letter A. What time will the train to London leave? Mm, I don't know this one, did you? Okay, the answer is 4.50. And 7. Which sport will the boy do soon at the center? <laughs> it is? Letter C, your answer is letter C, sailing. Is this your answer, yes. Ruby? Okay, correct. Now, let's move to the next. Okay. 
This one, you will hear an interview with a woman called Michelle, who is talking about the shows she puts on for children. Please listen. What is this all about, Rachel? Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. You will hear an interview with a woman called Rachel, who is talking about the shows she puts on for children. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have forty-five seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Rachel, tell us how your shows for children started. You studied art at college, didn't you? That's right. But I gave up my career as an artist when my twin daughters were born. Painting took up too much time when I was looking after them. I thought about teaching art classes part time, but instead I started <clears throat> making dolls for my daughters. I love acting, so I often invented little plays for the dolls, doing the voices myself. And when did you start doing shows for other people? When our daughters were five, my husband suggested using the dolls to entertain the children at their birthday party. I wrote a little show, and he built a dolls theatre. My daughters and their friends loved it. As a result, other parents asked me to come and do the show at their children's parties. That's how it all began. <laughs> it must be a lot of work for you. Yes, I love making the dolls, but I decided that I needed someone to help me with the shows. Luckily, my neighbour Lena was keen to perform with me. Her husband records the music to go with the shows. It would be impossible to do everything on my own. Have you ever had any problems? Only once, I did a show for a group of three-year-olds, and I'd written a story about a lion. Unfortunately, the children were really afraid of the lion and started crying. I was worried the parents might complain, but luckily they were all able to laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> and what did you learn from that? The experience taught me that I had to find out beforehand just what children enjoy. Like me, Lena has two daughters, so whenever we've invented a new story, we show it to our four girls first. They always tell us exactly what they think of it, and sometimes I take new dolls to the local primary school to check that children like them. And the shows continue to be successful. They do. I have a range of different shows for five to nine-year-olds. In fact, the shows have become so successful I could do one every day, but I don't want to do that. The reason the shows have become popular, I think, is because I love every minute of every show, and so other people love them too. I certainly didn't realise when I organised that birthday party for my daughters all those years ago that it would change my life so much. Now listen again, Rachel. Tell us how your shows for children started. You studied art at college, didn't you? That's right, but I gave up my career as an artist when my twin daughters were born. Painting took up too much time when I was looking after them. I thought about teaching art classes part time, but instead I started making dolls for my daughters. I love acting, so I often invented little plays for the dolls, doing the voices myself. And when did you start doing shows for other people? When our daughters were five, my husband suggested using the dolls to entertain the children at their birthday party. I wrote a little show, and he built a dolls theatre. My daughters and their friends loved it. As a result, other parents asked me to come and do the show at their children's parties. That's how it all began. <laughs> Must be a lot of work for you. Yes, I love making the dolls, but. 
I decided that I needed someone to help me with the shows. Luckily, my neighbour Lena was keen to perform with me. Her husband records the music to go with the shows. It would be impossible to do everything on my own. Have you ever had any problems? Only once. I did a show for a group of three-year-olds, and I'd written a story about a lion. Unfortunately, the children were really afraid of the lion and started crying. I was worried the parents might complain, but luckily they were all able to laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> and what did you learn from that? The experience taught me that I had to find out beforehand just what children enjoy. Like me, Lena has two daughters, so whenever we've invented a new story, we show it to our four girls first. They always tell us exactly what they think of it. And sometimes I take new dolls to the local primary school to check that children like them. And the shows continue to be successful? They do. I have a range of different shows for five to nine-year-olds. In fact, the shows have become so successful I could do one every day, but I don't want to do that. The reason the shows have become popular, I think, is because I love every minute of every show, and so other people love them too. I certainly didn't realise when I organised that birthday party for my daughters all those years ago that it would change my life so much. That is the end of part two. Okay. Okay, number eight, Ruby. Before you work, her children were born. Rachel worked as what? She worked as a teacher, a painter. Yeah, I don't know the a what. She worked as. A number eight, I don't know. Okay, it is. A painter. She paints. Okay, nine. Who first thought of doing a show at a party? Who first thought of doing a show at a party? A, B, or C? Okay, what's the answer? Who first the answer, thought? Yeah, your answer is? A. A. Yes. Okay, very good. It's Richelle's husband. Who first thought doing a show at a party? Then, Richelle's neighbor, Lena, helps by what? Michelle's neighbor Lena helps by what? My answer is C. Oh, C. Oh, it's B performing in the show. And 11. When Rachel did a play about a lion, okay, the children laughed too much. The children were frightened. The children's parents complained. It's letter What's the answer? My answer is B. Okay, B. Now, how do Rachel's daughters help her? How do Rachel's daughter help her? My answer is C. Okay, yes, very good. They gave her their opinions on her new place. Okay, 13. Rachel thinks her shows are successful because why? Mm, I don't know the, uh, the last one. Okay, it's letter A. It's letter A, okay? 
So for now, let's move to the next. Okay. Okay, 14 to 19. Ruby, you will hear a telephone message about the business study course. And for each question, you fill in the missing information in the numbered space. One, business study course. Now turn to part three, questions 14 to 19. You will hear a telephone message about a business studies course. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part three. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos. So you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitor's car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the Science and Technology Centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the business studies department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh, no, actually, there's one place on the Spanish course, too. We usually offer French and Japanese as well, but there aren't enough students for those classes this summer. So, I think that's all, but if you need to ask any further questions, please call Sonia Ashley. Um, that's spelt A-S-H. L-E-I-G-H. She's the secretary in the business studies department and she'll be happy to help. Thank you for your inquiry. Now listen again. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos. So you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop, if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitor's car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the Science and Technology Centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the Business Studies Department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh, no, actually, there's one place on the Spanish course, too. We usually offer French and Japanese as well, but there aren't enough students for those classes this summer. So, I think that's all, but if you need to ask any further questions, please call Sonia Ashley. Um, that's spelt A-S-H-L-E-I-G-H. 
She's the secretary in the business studies department, and she'll be happy to help. Thank you for your inquiry. That is the end of part three. What's the date of the course? Can I listen again? The I cannot hear it. Okay, okay. I will let you I listen. Don't have problem. Okay, one more. Okay, please listen. Now turn to part three, questions 14 to 19. You will hear a telephone message about a business studies course. For each question, fill in the missing information in the... Ruby, can you hear this now? Can you hear? Okay now? Yes. Okay, okay. Numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part three. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos. So you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitor's car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the Science and Technology Centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the Business Studies Department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh, no, actually, there's one place on the Spanish course, too. We usually offer French and Japanese as well, but there aren't enough students for those classes this summer. So, I think that's all, but if you need to ask any further questions, please call Sonia Ashley. Um, that's spelt A-S-H... L-E-I-G-H. She's the secretary in the business studies department and she'll be happy to help. Thank you for your inquiry.
Now listen again. Hello, this is Greenhill College. I'm leaving this message in answer to your inquiry about the business studies course. Firstly, you asked when the course starts. It begins on the 12th of June and finishes four weeks later on the 7th of July. According to your letter, you're free at this time, so I hope those dates will be all right. Um, at the beginning of the course, there are no lectures because we spend time watching business videos, so you won't need to bring anything for the class as everything is provided. Don't forget, however, that although you can bring your own laptop if you wish, mobile phones are not allowed in the classroom. I'm afraid these can disturb the classes, so they've now been banned. You said you're coming by car. Well, as it's only a short course, you can use the visitors' car park, which is just beside the main entrance. We're only a short walk away. Just turn right after the science and technology centre, cross the staff car park, and you'll see the door to the business studies department in front of you. Um, finally, you also wanted to know if it's possible to attend a language course while you are here. Well, the answer is yes, but we only have room on our Italian classes. Oh no, actually, there's one place on the Spanish course too. We usually offer French and Japanese as well, but there aren't enough students for those classes this summer. So I think that's all. But if you need to ask any further questions, please call Sonia Ashley. Um, that's spelt A S H. L E I G H. She's the secretary in the business studies department, and she'll be happy to help. Thank you for your inquiry. That is the end of part three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is the date, Ruby? Uh, I think this is hard to me now. So number fourteen, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and what it begins? It begins with. Do you have any idea about this, Ruby girl? Mm, no, I don't have the answer. <laughs> number four. Okay. It's video film or video or film about business. And what student must not bring to the class? Student must not bring what? Uh, number six, teen is mobile phone. Okay, mobile phone. You should not bring mobile phone. Yes. Next, visitors car park. It is next to the entrance. And the language classes available Spanish and what? What other language will be? Italy, maybe it is Spanish and Italian. And the name of the business study society secretary is who? Sonia, who? Sonia. What is it, Ruby? Sonia? Oh, Sonia Ashley. Okay, look at the spelling. It's quite complicated. The spelling teacher Anne is quite complicated. Okay. Okay. So for now, Ruby, okay, look at this. Okay. So we cannot uh, finish this. We'll have to do this on Saturday. Okay. Okay, wait for a while. I have to check. Okay, wait me, Ruby, for a minute. Okay, 210. 
Okay, Ruby, you only have, oh wait, teacher, where is it? You only have three, three classes more. You only have three classes, so we can have it Saturday. Okay, Tuesday and Thursday. So on Thursday, that's the end of your class, okay? Ruby, okay, show me your face now. Show me your beautiful face. Where is your beautiful face? Okay, okay. So you only have three, three lessons left. Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay, please tell your mom we only have three lessons left, okay? On Thursday, we, uh, that Thursday next week, that's the last lessons that we have, okay? Okay, Ruby girl? Yes. Yeah, I will, tell, I will continue, okay, having the class on Saturday, the same, 8.30, okay? Why you are always smiling? Are you happy? <laughs> Why? You keep on smiling and it seems you're very happy. Why? Hmm? Why you keep on smiling? Oh, it's just... And it seems you're it's very just, happy. Uh... Yes, it's a normal day, and I just, uh, I just know that I have, uh, hmm, let's see, hmm, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I just watched a movie, and they, and it's a happy ending, so we really like it. I watched it a long ago, so they have just have a happy ending, so I'm very happy with wow. that. Wow, so that's why you have uh, you watch the movie. Yeah, I already knew the movie that you told me. It's about the Speed Game, some sort of a very trendy movie. It's in the Netflix, right? Netflix. Yes. Yeah, it's a trending. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, okay, please tell your mom, Ruby, we only have three lessons left. Okay, please tell your mom. And please message me in Zalo for whatever decision you have. Okay? Oh, you keep on smiling and you're very happy. <laughs> oh, you don't have pimples anymore. Not too many. I can see. Yeah. Not too many. Oh, okay. For now, teacher will say goodbye. Bye, Ruby girl. Goodbye. See you on Saturday. Bye-bye. See you.